the Toyota Land Cruiser is back. And while most of us might have thought that Toyota buried this legendary thrill seeker in 2021, the Japanese automaker plans to release a brand new and updated Land Cruiser in 2024. Correspondingly, Toyota will release the latest Forerunner, which some thought was to replace the Land Cruiser entirely. Now that these iconic off-roaders promise to take other industry powerhouses by storm and dominate, what should you go for between them? Should you go for the newly revamped, stronger than ever forerunner, or should you settle for what's considered the ultimate best within the Land Cruiser family? This video review will help you answer that. I'll help you compare the two best incarnates in terms of grades and prices, interior dimensions, appearance, performance, capability, and driver assistance technology. 1. Grades and Prices According to Toyota, the 2024 Forerunner will be available in seven unique grades, which are as follows Forerunner SRS, TRD Sport, SRS Premium, TRD Offroad, TRD Offroad Premium, Forerunner Limited, and TRD Pro. The starting MSRP is between $40,455 and $54,920, depending on the grade. For example, while you can get the Forerunner SRS for 40,455 US dollars, you'll need at least 54,920 US dollars to own a brand new Forerunner TRD Pro. Of course, the higher the trim level, the more features you enjoy and the more you have to pay. How about the 2024 Land Cruiser? Unlike the 2024 Forerunner, Toyota hasn't set the starting price for the 2024 Land Cruiser. They, however, affirm that it will be within the mid-50,000 US dollar range. So clearly, it will cost more than the Forerunner, especially if you go for a higher trim. According to a recent press released by Toyota, the 2024 Land Cruiser will only be available in three grades. The Land Cruiser 1958, Mid-Range Land Cruiser, Mid-Range Land Cruiser, and Land Cruiser Fast Edition. We expect the Land Cruiser 1958 to be the most affordable option in the family, which I mentioned before, to be around 55,000 US dollars, and the Land Cruiser Fast Edition will be the most priced trim. And of course, the mid range Land Cruiser will be the mid priced option. So, what's our take on the grades and prices? There is no denying that the Forerunner offers more grades, seven to be specific, and their starting prices are cheaper than the Land Cruiser. So if you want variety and more affordable options, the 2024 Forerunner has an early lead here. 2. Exterior Dimensions The 2024 Toyota Forerunner seems to maintain the exact dimensions as its previous edition, which is expected since the Forerunner is still running on the 5th generation facelift and has been served since 2014. This 5 passenger four-door wagon is 190.2 inches long, 75.8 inches wide, and 71.5 inches high. Moreover, its wheelbase is 109.8 inches and relishes an incredible ground clearance of 9.6 inches. On the other hand, the 2024 Land Cruiser is 193.7 inches long, 84.2 inches wide, and 73.2 inches high and relishes a wheelbase of 112.2 inches and a ground clearance of 8.7 inches. So, what does that mean? That means that even though the Forerunner has a greater ground clearance, which gives it an advantage offered when rolling over obstacles, the Land Cruiser is bigger inside. And while Toyota might not have specified the passenger and cargo volumes yet, the fact that the 2024 Land Cruiser has a bigger exterior likely means a more extensive interior. What's for sure, however, is the fact that you'll need more space to turn and park the Land Cruiser than you would ordinarily need to deal with a Forerunner. 3. Car Appearance Exterior Look Let's start with the 2024 Forerunner. Exteriorly, the 2024 Forerunner has a rugged appeal, especially if you go for the TOD family, where the cars feature 17-inch Nito Terra Grappler, all-terrain nobby tires, and rugged TOD Pro badging. The 2024 edition looks more aggressive than ever, showing that the road icon is more prepared for the off-road than ever. It features an eye-couching LED headlight, tail lights, fog lights, and high beams to offer you necessary illumination at night and give it a dominant and missable identity. Its outside mirrors are power heated and you have the option of a roof rack on higher grades. The door handles are color keyed or chrome and you can access a power moonroof with sunshade on all trims apart from the Forerunner SRS. How about the 2024 Land Cruiser? Well, with a new generation comes a new look. 
and since Toyota is switching from a previous 7th generation to a new 8th generation for Land Cruiser, you can expect a new look. The Land Cruiser 1958, for example, walks you down the memory lane with its enchanting round LED headlamp and slimmer body style. The mid-range Land Cruiser grade, on the other hand, enjoys a squared body and rectangular headlights, which reminds you of the legendary FJ62. Even better, Toyota has lowered its front overhang for a greater approach. In terms of exterior color choices, the 2024 Land Cruiser offers you seven options. Ice Cup, Heritage Blue, Underground Black, Trail Dust, Mitsuha Shaw, Black, and Windchill Pearl. However, the Heritage Blue and Trail Dust exteriors also feature a dominant grey scape roof. So, what's our take on the exterior look? Generally, there isn't much to separate the Forerunner and the Land Cruiser's exteriors. They both have an aggressive rugged look. You can however argue that the Land Cruiser has a slightly more vintage look. Wait a minute, I know you're enjoying this video. What about you give me a thumbs up by liking it, then subscribe and hit the notification bell for the latest epic videos. Let's continue. Interior look. This is where you'll notice many differences between the Forerunner and the Land Cruiser. Let's start with the Forerunner's interior. You want an SUV with a cozy, mood-elevating interior which you get from the Forerunner, and you can get that from the Forerunner. It sits of a sporty vibe thanks to their TRD embroidered headrests and the fact that they are heated, ventilated, and multi-directional power adjustable. Thanks to the power moonroof, which I mentioned earlier, the outdoors has never been closer, elevating the whole mood of driving this car. There are TRD signature touches all over, not just on the headrest. You'll also notice the attention-grabbing TRD styling on the shift knob and floor liners on some grades. What's more? Toyota has enriched the Forerunner's interior with an 8-inch standard infotainment touchscreen which offers you the option of plugging in your Android or Apple device, subscribing to SiriusXM, and upgrading to a 15-speaker JBL audio system. Now, into the Land Cruiser interior. While there is scanty information on the 2024 Land Cruiser's interior, we expect many changes. According to Toyota, this iconic SUV features a rich infotainment system characterized by a 6 to 10 speaker sound system and an 8 to 12.3 inch multimedia touchscreen depending on the trim. The seats are soft text leather upholstered, heated and ventilated apart from the 1958 edition, whose seats are fabric upholstered and manually heated. Overall, the Land Cruiser looks like a cozy car tailored for the family. So, what's our take on the car's interior look? Though there is a lot to like about the Forerunner interior, we have to favor the Forerunner slightly as it has a more fanciful and refined interior. It's hard to look beyond its rich infotainment and TRD signature cozy seats. 4. Performance and Capability Let's break down this comparison according to drivetrain configuration, engine power and transmission, towability and fuel economy. Here we go. Drivetrain Configuration while the entire 2024 Land Cruiser lineup features a full-time four-wheel drive system, the Forerunner comes in a two-wheel drive system with the option of a four-wheel drive. Consequently, the Land Cruiser has an edge regarding off-road capability and traction. Engine power and transmission The 2024 Forerunner, like its predecessor, features a 4-liter V6 DOHC 24-valve engine with a maximum horsepower of 270 HP at 5,600 revolutions per minute and a maximum torque of 278 pound feet at 4,400 revolutions per minute. A 5-speed automatic transmission pairs with the engine. On the other hand, the 2024 Land Cruiser features a hybrid iForce max power train characterized by a 2.4-liter .4 four-cylinder turbocharged engine and two electric motors. The engine delivers a maximum output of 326 horsepower and a torque value of 465 pound-feet, which is more than what the Forerunner promises. Even better, it's paired with an 8-speed automatic transmission for more speed and acceleration. Towability Given its superior engine power, the 2024 Land Cruiser has a greater tow capacity. This legendary cruiser can pull up to 6,000 pounds when a Forerunner can only manage 5,000 pounds. Fuel Economy While there is nothing official about the 2024 Land Cruiser's fuel economy, car exports estimated to be around 25 miles per gallon on city roads and 27 miles per gallon on highways. The Forerunner, on the other hand, averages 16 miles per gallon in the city and 19 miles per gallon on highways. 
This is a no-brainer. The Land Cruiser has to have the best fuel economy as it's a hybrid car. So, what's our take on performance and capability? The Land Cruiser is the clear favorite here. The SUV has a superior engine and drivetrain and enjoys better fuel economy and greater towability. 5. Driver Assistance Technology As expected, Toyota employs Safety Sense Driver Assistance Technology on both SUVs. The level of technology, however, differs between them. On the 4Runner, Toyota employs the Toyota Safety Sense P, characterized by options like pre collision system with pedestrian detection, automatic high beams, dynamic radar cruise control, and lane departure alert. But as good as the TSSP is, it can't match the Land Cruiser's new Toyota Safety Sense 3.0, which offers more upgrades and better driver assistance features. Notable inclusions include daytime bicycle detection, front cross traffic alert, and lane change assist. I must also mention the new Proactive Driving Assist, which features technologies like Steering Assist, Deceleration Assist, and Obstacle Anticipation Assist. What's our take on driver assistance? The 2024 Land Cruiser employs a more advanced safety suit, making it safer and easier to drive than the 4Runner. And what's our overall take? It's generally hard to beat the 2024 Land Cruiser on performance, especially engine power, fuel economy, and towability, making this clash a non contest. Until next time, that's all for now. In the meantime, here is another video on the Toyota RAV4 2023 vs. 2024 that you'll enjoy. See you there.